Thank you so much. Um, some of you were wondering what Pastor G, Pastor Goya is doing with the phone in the platform. We should not use it, right? Well, here by phone are the two missionaries of the mission trip team that they are in Michigan and California connected. So hello, Shane and Alex, hello. Can you say hello? Hello. <laughs> okay, good. We got you. Um, so they're going to be listening this this uh, service. This is the logo of the mission trip. And and when I was and when I was thinking in the in this dedication and the and the message for today, this this story came. This verse: uh, Go and do likewise. Which really Jesus was telling is go and makes people's lives better. That's what Jesus was telling exactly. Yeah, I know it's a little free translation of that verse, but if you read the context of chapter 10 in the book of Luke, that's exactly what Jesus is telling to these men. Go and make people's lives better. That's what we want in Lithicum. That's what we are living. That's what we are preaching. That's what we're saying. And that's what we're going to be doing in Peru. Go and make people's lives better. Go and make the difference in people's lives. People that doesn't have enough clothes for the winter. People that doesn't have enough knowledge about how to remove guiltiness on their lives. People that doesn't have enough resources. Kids that doesn't know the language to grow professionally in a place that English as a second language is so valued. We're going to go there to Cusco and teach them English. Visit to them showing the scriptures. Bringing clothes and toys with us in this season that many are not going to receive a toy. But now they are going to do. Go and make people's lives better. It's God's mission. And it's our mission to Peru. It's the mission for the Castros. It's the mission for our dears in Georgia. It's our mission to Peru. To go and make people's lives better. Um, when you open the chapter 10 of Luke, and I invite you to open your Bibles, smartphones, or something smart with the Bible on it. In Luke chapter 10, you have two stories. Two stories that we usually preach or read about them separately. The matter of fact, when we, when we read the, last, the verse, go and do likewise, we only think in the Good Samaritan, go and, do, go and do good things for the people. But if you read the context in the entire chapter, it's deeper than that. Because in the first part of the chapter, Verse, verse um, 1 in chapter 10 says, After these things, the Lord Jesus appointed 70 others also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself was what? Was what? Was what? About to go. Thank you. So Jesus sent 70 people, 70 disciples before his coming. And he sent them with one purpose, to make people's lives better. If you read through that, you can, you can read that he said, um, verse 5, but whatever house you enter, first say peace to this house. So you go and make people feel peace. We're going to talk about suicide prevention later, how to talk about that. Uh, and then... Um, when you enter in those cities, you heal the people, you, you cast demons, you make the life better. And don't judgment, don't have prejudice. You can read that. Jesus is telling the disciples to go and make people's lives better. So this is what happened. Let me, let me tell you this story. Jesus when, was in Jerusalem. That city, because so controversial, ultimately. He was in the temple of Jerusalem. And he sent them and said, I'm going to wait for you right here in the house of God. Which implies that the mission is outside the temple. <laughs> uh -huh. So he was there and he would say, go. Go and make people's lives better. Don't judge them. Don't judge them. Don't, don't label them. You just go, accept what they have, accept what they are, learn from them, learn with them, and heal them. Proclaim all of those, do all of those good things for them, and let them. 
tell them, the kingdom is coming. The kingdom is near. Go and make people's lives better. The 70 went. And when they came, they all came like marching, like in the song we sang, Go Telling on the Mountain, the song that we sang before. They came like that, you know, jumping all together, happy, like, yeah, we did, like, you know, like, like that song. Why? Because it happened. They went there. They, they pray for people that have demon possession, and remember the training we have about that? And they pray for those and the demons cast out. They, they pray for people that were sick and they were healed. The same things that happened that we were doing. So they were excited because they were helping and makes people's lives better. And they were so happy. Woo, yes! And then Jesus looked at them and said, you know, I was excited because I saw the victory, spiritual victory. But look, pay attention, pay attention. And mission, mission trip guys, mission trip guys, mission trip guys and everybody. Chapter 10, verse 20. Jesus said to them, but guys, guys, don't, don't be so excited to do those things. Verse 20 says, don't get so excited for doing those things. Get excited because your name is written in the book of life. Mission trip team, mission trip team. We go there, we're gonna do all of this, we're gonna make people's lives better in Peru. But don't go there and be happy for what we're gonna do there. Don't be happy because we're gonna do there in the new place, in the new state, in the other country we go. Don't be happy because we do things and makes people's lives better. No, be happy because when you do those things, you are safe. Salvation came to you. Your name is written in the book of life. Your character gets transformed. You get closer to Jesus. That's what the mission is all about, to get closer to him. So be happy, not because you're gonna make people's lives better, it's because you are safe doing people's lives better. That's the center of mission. That love, that mercy, unconditional love for everybody. Actually, if you, if you go theologically deep there, Jesus sent them to Samaria, that land that nobody wants to go. Those places that Jews kind of talk to them. Those places that you have prejudice toward. Those places that you, you, you really, you want to pray only for them. But then Jesus said, go and make the life better. And when you do it, be happy because your name is gonna be written in the book of life. Wow. And what's in that moment? What's in that moment? that a very good Seventh-day Adventist member was sitting down there, actually a pastor, probably a lawyer, was sitting down there in the pew, warming the pew, very good. And said, but master, 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 and this is the story we know, right? And look at the question, verse 21, verse 21. No, sorry, verse 25. And behold, certain lawyer, said the pastor, stood up and test him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to hate that eternal life? So he got it. He got it. He said, Wow, so go and make people's lives better will save me. But come on, I am here warming the pew so nicely. I am so nice here. And this is so good. You know, oh, I need to get out. I need to get out of this. It's cold outside. It's, it's snowing in Maryland. Uh, oh, in Cusco it's raining right now. Do you know that? In Cusco it's raining. It's not the best season for tourism. It's the, it's the opposite. Nobody wants to go there now. So it's the best time to talk about these things with the local people. But uh, come on, come on, Jesus. What I need to do to be safe? I am saved by grace, right? I don't need to do those things. I am saved by grace. I don't need to do nothing. Salvation is free, right? Jesus said, well, what the law says. You love God, and then you love your neighbor. Good. And then he tells the story of the Samaritan that we know, and he tells the children's story. And then after that, he asks the question, because that's the thing, no? Do this to your neighbor. And then the, the pastor was like, you know, the, the, the warmer pew was like, so I need to do something, ouch. But who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? You know, I don't know who is my neighbor, my neighbor, you know. Who is my neighbor? I don't know who is my neighbor. 
And then, after he understood that the motivation should be love, unconditional love, show mercy to everybody also if there's no sense with that neighbor that we have in our house that is always mean to me and my kids, I need to laugh. To that co-worker that I go into the office and every time you have that ugly face looking at me, is that that I want to go and make his life better. To that family, sibling that he, he or she always do something to destroy our harmonious life. I need to go and make the life better. To that friend, partner, or somebody that I meet in the street that look as in some way that we don't like, we need to make the life better. We need to go to Peru, my dear, some mission trip team. We need to go to Peru and make people's lives better and be safe. And that's what Jesus said to the, to the lawyer. So you know what? Now that you understand you need to have mercy, now that you understand that to be safe you need to go and make people's lives better, verse 37, now go and do likewise. Go and make people's lives better. Now the story makes sense. The gospel is close. And now, before Jesus sent the 70, he prayed for them. So I think it's appropriate for, for us to do the same. So I'm gonna invite the mission trip team to come out front, and I'm gonna ask uh, the person I asked to bring some things, some box from my office. Um, and I want all the mission trip team right here. I know there is, there is coming. They are coming. Little by little, some baby situations over there, so we need to maybe wait a few minutes, but they're fine. And Shane and Alex, are you with us? Okay, yes. Okay, good. So, thank you so much. Please, I want you to, sorry, sorry. I want you to choose your, your ones. This is, for the ladies, this is a vest. As I told you, is is raining on, on Cusco. So can you, I'm gonna wear it myself. So I don't know if it's appropriate to, yeah, there you go. So we can have it, yeah, I think that's yours. And I'm gonna have mine right here. Yep. <laughs> I think this is yours, that's mine, yeah. Okay, let's do this, right? It's working? Yeah, okay. So, okay. Um, I think we have a baby thing over there with, with, with the images, so let's, let's wait for, for them a little bit. Um, so now, this vest is for us to be represented there with the logo of the mission trip. And because I told you it's gonna be raining there, we need to have these t-shirts like the previous one in South Dakota was more appropriate. For now, it's good to, to have. So okay, we are missing here a couple of people that they are, uh, Karen didn't make it through today. So Karen is, is part of it. Um, uh, then we have Jessica, Alex and Kaylee. And then we have also, Shane and Alex, that your vest is here, so don't worry, okay? You have your vest separated here for you, okay? Okay, okay, good. So, I guess babies, we didn't count with that, that interface. Um, can somebody go and check with Jessica? Yes, can you, can you go and check? How, oh, Rebecca, thank you so much. Thank you so much, because I know Kaylee and Alice wants to be here, and we will want them to be here. And it's good that she came close because this is getting hot. It's getting very hot. All right, all right. Yeah, I like that. Okay, my dears, sorry for interpass.
All right. Okay, Kaylee, please come over. We have here a very young missionary here, so please put that on. Then we have also Alex, come over, please. Come over, my dear. This is yours. Okay, Alex, you need to put this one on you. Ooh. Okay, ready? Sorry, Kim. Okay. All right. Okay, okay, let me help you. Okay, there you go. All right, guys. So, my dears, this is the part of the mission trip team. We have a few other people that are in Michigan, in California, and then we have also Karen here that she cannot make it today. Uh, but my dear, I want to do something very special for us. I want, I want to do what Jesus did with the 70s, is pray for them before they go. And, and I'm going to invite, please, the, the, the ones that are downstairs, <laughs> Michelle and John, to come over, please. And my dears, I'm going to invite everybody to stand for this prayer, because all of us are together in this mission trip. All of you contribute financially, with clothes, with toys. Everybody is part of this. <laughs> Lord Jesus, we're grateful that you have um, prepared this group of people that are willing to go at some inconvenience and effort to another place and to accomplish your will there by showing love and real help to people who need it. We already count, Lord, the, the victory of that event and that their efforts and uh, know already the hearts that are strengthened and the people whose lives are better because of what they're going to do. Bless each member. Keep them safe. Keep them connected to you. Bless those who aren't part of this circle but will be part of the team there. Take them safely. Bear them up. Bring them back safely to us. We love you and we thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. So, my dears, you can keep the vest. Now you put it in the in the pack. Okay, yeah, we will have we will have a change over there. Okay. So, so you may be seated. You may be seated. So, my dears, the last thought of the sermon today is that Jesus said, "I send it to you. I send you. I send you to proclaim the good news to make people's lives better." And I send you before I go. So my dears, the big message is that we're proclaiming the good news of the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to Peru to do people's lives better, to have our name written in the book of life and telling everybody that Jesus is about to come again. So let's leave this sermon. Let's be the ones that makes people's lives better through the power of Jesus Christ. And let's rejoice together as we go in different places to make people's lives better. God bless you, church family. God bless you, missionaries in Michigan and California. And God bless you, everybody that is watching online. Go and make people's lives better. God bless you, church.